channel um, I see me and Michael Gordon Arabi as promised last week I'm gonna be showing us how to layer voices on this sweet baby the montage 8 Yamaha so well, before we go on um, do well to subscribe and do well to share the link to other of your friends thank you so we can actually operate everything once we operate from the screen so the good thing about the piano is that it's screen touch so you don't need to start using your buttons and so on so let's just go straight to business so we're going to restart the piano so when the piano comes on this is the first interface you will see which is the live stage setup do you understand but we're not using the live stage setup because the live stage setup will give you an individual um precept you understand if you choose the part to give you just one just the part and so on you understand so from here you go to your category search now this is the sweet part what we'll be doing here now is to select the first house do you understand take note that the attribute here is what all so let's use this so enter there's an enter key here once you tap on the enter your check the voice that's there we have your full concert grand then next thing to do and i'm going to be showing us what you should take note of do you understand so i just entered the plus sign there take note of your attributes make sure your attribute is on single then enter once it's there, then choose the effect you want to put there. I told us earlier that I prefer analog pad. Once you've selected your analog, enter. Then go to your third layer. It's on single already. So always take note of the attributes. Make sure it's single. Then the next effect to put I hope we are seeing all what I'm doing right so I'll just try to be fast now then enter Now we are done with the whole setup here, but you will discover that these faders here are not working. Now I'm using the faders. Okay, I'm trying to test the faders, but you discover they are not working. You understand? See them? None of them is working. So once you discover it like this, the, the next thing to do is to go to your patch control. Once you click your patch control, you discover you'll be able to arrange your volume and so on with your faders do you understand okay once you're done the next thing to do is to try to save your layers so if you want to save go to store then look down here there's store as new performance if you want to override anyone that has been stored before you can override but let's just store as new performance so you go to your enter 
then you can rename it to whatever so let's just re rename it as um mike a ruby so we are renaming it as michael a ruby godwin then you stop so that's it.